you, you begin to say, well, I, I want to make sure that if I ask one question, it's the best question. It's that one question that can really set me in a path of health and happiness in my mind. So with that in mind, I continue. This is the second week in a series we've been called The Questions That Jesus Asked. It's interesting, right? You would think that I would focus on the questions that we ask. We ask like, why God? And how and when and how long God? We, we, so, we certainly ask questions like that. But we forget that Jesus asked many questions for people like us, people in need. And his questions are always to help us. His questions are always to bless us. And so I continue that questions that Jesus asked because it is intended to open us up, to, to, be, to be real, to take off our masks. Because if I was to ask for a general consensus, how, how happy are people here? If you're happy, raise your hand, don't raise them. Everybody will probably raise their hand because you're in church, you're among family, you're among friends, and you, you don't want anybody to be upset or to worry about you. So if you ask a question, you generally just answer like everybody else does. But if Jesus was to ask you individually a question, it would make you think. It would make you really ponder what is at the heart of what Jesus is asking you. Last week, Jesus asked a question that had to deal with service. Jesus made it clear, I've come to serve, not to be served. He didn't come looking for people to do things for him. How can we do anything for God? God doesn't need our help. God doesn't need us, but God loves us, and God wants to have a relationship with, one, with us, and, and he wants to bless us in that relationship. So he, he is about service. And we talked about that one individual that was blind and, and heard that Jesus was in the area and shouted out in a loud voice, you know, son of David, have mercy on me, calling him the Savior, the Messiah, the Son of God, acknowledging him in public and, and asking him to do something for him. But he was blind and, and people 